Well, I think the Napo story is a, is a great American story. Growing up in Conway was a, was a real a good experience looking back. At the time, it seemed like it was a pretty hard years growing up on a farm, but uh, there's 12 in our family, and I'm the youngest of 12 kids. Uh, one bedroom, the four of us, uh, four, four of us boys slept in one bedroom. It wasn't that big a bedroom either. No electricity. That was typical of the farm life, and we didn't know we were poor because we knew a lot of people that lived the same way we did. We all had chores to do, and from the time I was six years old, I started helping milk cows, and I had to milk them every morning and every night. There was always something to do, and so, uh, yeah, I kept pretty busy. I refer back to my farm life a lot when people ask me about uh, some of the successes and what motivated me to do certain things. And I, I realized I learned really a lot by working on the farm. First of all, I learned teamwork. When you have that many chores to do and that many responsibilities, you do it with other members of the family. I learned a lot of pride. We were, had a lot of pride in our family and it showed itself in the way we worked in the fields. And you know, every job was worth, worth some, something, no matter how hard it was, you could look back and get some satisfaction of what you had to do. We had a normal uh, life of working together, playing together, and praying together, and fighting together, and really had a good life uh, on the farm. And looking back, I think it uh, was a lot of value to, to me in, uh, in my professional life. Nabholt's construction started almost by accident in 1949. Then a 13-year-old Charles was working alongside his brothers while building what was originally intended to be a home for his eldest brother. And by the time he got close to being finished, it didn't take long to build it because it wasn't much. Guy came along, a veteran, another veteran, and offered him a $500 profit. And that was a lot of money back in those days. And so he decided to take it and still have time to build another house. But before he got ready to build his another house, another veteran came along and said, I want you to build me a house first. He said, well, I can't hardly turn that down either. So. He built this other house uh, for this other veteran and made another $500 or so, and so that's when he decided he was going to be in the, in the construction business. From there, Nabholtz Construction was born, and it was a true family business, with all six Nabholtz brothers being a partner in the company at one point. As Nabholtz Construction grew, so did the reputation for service, hard work, and an unwavering adherence to the highest moral and ethical standards. When people talked about Nabholtz, uh, Integrity would come up quite a bit, and I knew, I knew that was a good thing, and, and I was proud of it. And my other brothers were proud of the fact that there was a reputation being built. It was born and being built, and and anytime people uh, used the word integrity in describing your company, uh, I mean, it really made you feel good. And uh, it's commitment that uh, we're proud of the reputation, but it's also a commitment going forward. There's always that pressure to make sure that company uh, lives uh, and uh, continues that reputation for integrity. Charles's induction into the Arkansas Business Hall of Fame is also a milestone. He and Robert Nabholtz, who was inducted in 2003, are the first brothers to be enshrined in the hall. I can remember being so proud of him and, and of course he is much more deserving of this honor than I feel that I am, but uh, he, he cast a big shadow and, and I've I've sort of followed in his footsteps for a big part of my life, but uh, just following him in this, uh, in this honor is certainly a very moving experience for me, and I think he'd be smiling down today. I thought it couldn't be any more work harder than farming, but I learned pretty quick that uh, construction could be pretty hard work too, but I was young and excited, and, and I was learning something every day. I was around carpenters, I was around iron workers, I was around people who had skills that I never saw on the farm to the degree that I did in the construction business. So I was learning all the time, and uh, I was on a plan that I uh, didn't realize uh, that it would end up where it did, and I just took it as far as it would go and, and feel like that uh, uh, I guess I was born to be in this business.